Sometimes, you only have yourself, a tripod, and your camera. Adding camera movement later on makes your footage immersive and cinematic. If you're filming something yourself, this info can help you. The first thing we're going to start off with is zooming in and zooming out. So go ahead and open up a file that you would like to edit. We're going to start off with this one here, and I'm going to go ahead and just get the first a few seconds of this, five seconds, and go ahead and uh, set the out point and drag this onto the timeline and zoom in. There's a few ways to do zooming in and out. The most simple way is to use motion and zoom in by adding a keyframe and then scaling in. But what we're going to do, we're going to use something that's a little bit, uh, that looks a little bit better in the end result. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the effects tab and search for the effects it's called transform. If I could spell it correctly, we'd be able to get it. All right, transform. And this is essentially the same thing as using motion, except it gives you a bit more control and something that's going to make the footage look more like a camera is actually moving. And that is actually uh, down here. Uh, we'll go over that in a minute. Go over to here where it says toggle animation. And we're going to set both position and scale as uh, our first keyframes. And what we're going to do is everything's going to be starting at zero. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to move the playhead all the way to the end and then we're going to move back one frame. You can use the left arrow key to move back a frame so that you can see what you're doing. And we're going to add another keyframe to both the position and the scale. Alright. So once you've done this, the, the last keyframe is going to be where your footage is going to end. So change the scale. This is going to zoom the footage in to something pretty simple. Uh, nothing too crazy to start out with, just so you can get a feel of how the footage is going to move. So we're going to do 115, so 15%. I'm doing this with 1080p footage, if anybody's wondering. Uh, you're going to lose a little bit of quality when you're zooming in, but it's going to be very unnoticeable because Premiere is going to scale it up. Um, as long as you're not doing anything crazy, with uh, like 300, 400% zooming, it's not going to affect the footage very much, especially once it gets uploaded to YouTube. So after you do that, we're gonna go ahead and scrub this through and see how it looks. And you can see it, you're getting a zooming effect, but what you can also do to, to kind of give it more of a dolly effect instead of a zoom is go ahead and go back to the position and change this upwards a little bit, just a tad. You can go ahead and drag it if you like and drag it just up a little bit and what that'll do is uh make it seem like it's on a track the last thing we're going to do for the zoom is we're going to change this this is the most important part about making this seem like a camera is doing this is the shutter angle we're going to click this off we're going to set the shutter angle to 180 and what that is going to do is like setting the shutter speed on your camera all right, it's going to add some blur between the frames so that between one frame and the next, there's going to be an actual transition. It's not going to look like a slideshow. You'll notice that if you're doing, especially the faster you make the camera move in Adobe Premiere by changing the position using, let's say you're using motion up here, it, you're going to get a stuttery movement of the fake camera. And by using a shutter angle, this is going to make it seem more like a camera is doing it. We're going to go ahead and render this out uh, into out just so that you can see what it looks like. All right, we're going to go ahead and play this and you're going to see what I mean by having smoother footage. Make sure that uh, this is on full if your camera or if your computer can handle it be because uh, you'll you'll see the final result here. Very very smooth. And that's just a zoom in. If you want to zoom out, uh, what you'll do is you'll take the scale and you'll start at 115%. So we can actually flip these if you if you want. Flip these around and this as well. The position you can flip. And this will give you a zooming out effect. All right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this and you'll see it zooming out now instead of zooming in. Let me pull in something else. Let's go back and I'll show you this footage here real fast. Let's pull this up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have the camera pan up into the corner. And 
the principle is the same. Go ahead and go to effects, and actually, if you want, you can uh, copy this and paste the effect transform onto this timeline. This will give you ex the exact thing that you did to the other one. Um, and so we, we're going to go ahead and change these parameters though. So go ahead and delete these keyframes. And we're going to start out and we're going to add the scale keyframe and another keyframe here for position. And then we're going to go back to the end and do the same thing. Just so that you can see we're starting fresh. Now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in again. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Go back to the beginning of the playhead here. For the first keyframe, change this to something. We're going to go a little bit more this time. Let's go 135%. Okay. And you see we zoomed in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the end where that keyframe was. Back one frame. In fact, scale isn't going to change here, so you can delete this last keyframe. Go back to the, you can click this little button here to go to previous or next keyframe to make sure you're on that keyframe. And go ahead and change this to move the camera up into the corner. And it's, it's pretty much that simple to set this. And again, make sure that your shutter angle is at 180. And we're going to go ahead and play this just to preview the speed. It might be a little bit too fast here. Oop. If your computer is struggling, change the playback resolution down. All right, okay. So it's a little bit fast. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna have it go that far. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this again. And where the uh, camera is here, this is where we want it to end, right? So what you can do is you can add a keyframe where the current position is, and then go ahead and click on the last keyframe, and then delete that one and drag this one all the way over. What that's going to do is going to set the speed just a tad slower again. And you can see a little bit of the fog billowing in there from the window. And then you can go ahead and render that and play it through and see how it looks. And then uh, one of the final ones we're going to go over is going to be rotation. You can use this for so many different things just to give it a little bit of movement. It's almost like a dance, if you ever did one of those. Some people <laughs> may not uh, be fond of dancing, so here we go. Put this in here. This is going to be... We're just going to... I'm going to scrub through this and drag it out, because there's some shaking at the beginning. All right, so this one, you're actually... It's best to do this with 4K footage if you're going to output at 1080p. Go ahead and do this with 1080p, just so you can see how it affects quality. And... Go ahead, do the same thing, shutter at 180. We're going to zoom this in a lot. Do it 180%. All right, you can see there is some quality loss here. Of course, we have this at half, but there's definitely going to be some quality loss. You can, you can get a little bit of the sharpness back by adding some sharpening. We're scaled in 180%. So what we're going to do now the scale is going to stay the same. We're going to change the rotation. We're going to add the toggle the animation for rotation and then start at the beginning. Again, go to the end, back a frame, and then add another keyframe. First keyframe we're going to do, we're going to do minus 30%. Let's try that. Now, if we want the camera to keep, it'll keep going until we hit the center at this point. If you want, if you'd like it to do that, you can. It's going to be a little bit slower. If you're looking to do it faster, then you can change the position again. Move that back to 30%. So from minus 30 to 30 degrees. Sorry, not percent. Degrees. And then you'll see that camera movement again as it turns. Three basic camera movements that you can use for your footage, your films. Hopefully that helped you out. Tune in until next time.